I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to speak about our, our panelists today and uh, a great uh, warm welcome to all of you who have made it here. Um, I'm going to start um, talking about each one's uh, achievements in life uh, up to this point and the topics they've talked to before uh, according to the order they're going to speak. Uh, first, uh, Graham Speak. Graham Speak is the founder and chairman of the Friends of Mount Tathos. He is a regular visitor to the Holy Mountain and was received into orthodoxy there in 1999. Trained as a classicist, he holds degrees from both Cambridge and Oxford and is a fellow of the Society of Ant Antiquaries. He is the author of two books about Mount Athos. Mount Athos, first, Mount Athos Renewal in Paradise, which won the 2002 Criticos Prize and its sequel, A History of the Athenite Commonwealth, the Spiritual and Cultural Diaspora of Mount Athos. Secondly, Constantinus Rigopoulos, who was graduated from Oxford Brookes University in Oxford with a Bachelor of Architecture degree. He received his diploma degree from the School of Architecture of the Aristotle University of Thessaloniki in Greece. He holds a Master of Science in Protection, Conservation and Restoration of Cultural Monuments from the Aristotle University of Thessaloniki. Since 2007, he has been working at the Center of the Preservation of the Athenite Heritage, Kedak. His responsibilities are related to projects concerning restoration of the monuments of Mount Athos, and he has been recently appointed as deputy head in the Department of the Monument Conservation and Restoration Projects. Thirdly, Alice Mary Talbot, the only lady of our panel today. Uh, Dr. Alice Mary Albert is a historian and has spent most of her career at Dumbleton Oaks, a research institute at Harvard University located in Washington, D.C. She served as an executive editor of the Oxford Dictionary of Byzantium and for 12 years as director of Byzantine studies. Her scholarly interests have focused on monasticism, hagiography, and women's studies. Her recent books include The Life of Saint Basil the Younger and The Holy Men of Mount Athos, a volume entitled Varieties of Monastic Experience in Byzantium between 800 and 1453, is currently in press at the University of Notre Dame. Um, fourthly, Douglas Dales is the Associate Anglican Priest in the East Downland Benefice uh, in the Diocese of Oxford. For many years, he was chaplain of Marlborough College. Married with three grown-up children, he was, has now written a number of books of early medieval history and also of theology. He is a regular visitor of the, Holy Mount, of the Holy Mountain, Mount Athos, which he visits each year for a treat at Letin Vatopedi and Simonopetra. In addition, his wife and he have both a strong friendship with the Orthodox monastery here in Essex, in England. And last but not least, Callistus Ware, Metropolitan Callistus of Dioclea, holds a doctorate in theology from the University of Oxford, where from 1966 to 2001, he was a fellow at Pembroke College and sporting lecturer in Eastern Orthodox studies. He's a monk of the monastery of St. John the Theologian in Patmos, and an assistant bishop in the Greek Orthodox Archdiocese of Thyatira and Great Britain. His publications include The Orthodox Church, third edition in 2015, and The Orthodox Way. And he is the president of the Friends of Mount Athos. Um, firstly, the great, I must um, now introduce Dr. Graham Speak to start, I will give us a talk about um, the ecumenical nature of Athos, a historical perspective. Please. 